Hey guys, this is Hi Chess. Uh, today I'm going to show you a couple of tricks with gradients. Uh, the first of which is how to create a custom gradient. So by default, um, the palette uh, tab doesn't show up anywhere on the uh, interface. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and need to uh, have that show to create a, a custom gradient. So click the arrow tool, which you find in multiple part, parts of the interface. Uh, go to add tab, then go to palettes. And that brings up a boatload of pre-created palettes. Uh, and to create a new palette, you want to select this create new palette, which is represented by a, a piece of paper. Uh, now to create a color for your new pa uh, palette, which will end up being a gradient, you're going to need to select uh, the foreground color just by clicking it and it comes up with the, it comes up with the color editor. It has uh, tons of options. You have a uh, hue saturation value, RGB, cyan magenta, yellow key, all of that is there. Uh, so let's just go ahead and create a, a palette with some random colors. What you're going to need to do is change your foreground color, then just click this new entry key, uh, button. And it creates a color. So just do that with whatever colors you like. And we have a palette. Uh, then you name it. Uh, let's name it name. I don't know. And let's save this. And you see our new palette gets added. Now we can go ahead and get exit out of all this now. And to create a gradient out of this, you just right click and you select palette to gradient or palette to repeating gradient. Uh, let's all the palette to repeating gradient does is repeats your first color. So let's go ahead and show you guys. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that. By default, uh, you can just come over here and select your gradient. Then click this where you see the gradient and all your gradients will appear. Uh, so it's already selected the gradient for me and uh, set a shape to whatever you want. I have it just set to linear and click and drag. Uh, there we go. And there you have a custom gradient. So now that we get that out of the way, uh, I'm going to show you some uh, other cool tricks with gradients you can try. Let's go ahead and uh, not create a new layer, but let's duplicate our existing layer. And on this, on the upper layer that we just created, let's go ahead and select desaturate. And uh, for now, it doesn't matter what we choose. And let's create a layer mask. Uh, layer mask can honestly have a a whole video by itself so I want to save the details for, uh, later but oh you generally get an idea after you of what this is after experimenting with it a bit so uh, I want to go ahead and choose white full opacity and click add so now you see I have this uh, add this white looking thing to next to my image well um that pretty much tells it's telling the program to pretty much not show anything else other than the layer at hand and create Darker, make darker colors transparent. So if I go back to my default, first I'm going to need to select uh, black again, sorry, and go back to my default um, foreground to background color and just click and drag. You see that part of the image is colored and it's not. So right from right there you can see a practical application of this and that's how they, that's how a lot of people create those cool custom um, this transition scenes, but uh, it's not limited to this. So let's go ahead and duplicate this layer again, and on the uh, this time on the top layer, let's go ahead and use Gaussian blur, and let's go ahead and set the value to ten, and uh, have RLE selected. Um, typically, RLE is RLE is uh, better for digitally created images, which this was. It's just a bunch of brushes and a C4D. And IIR is better for uh, actual photo uh, photographers. At least I believe. I, I don't believe I have it that confused. Go ahead and click OK. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much. And uh, now you say, oh, you just created a blurred image. But I'm going to go ahead and add a layer mask. I want to go ahead and select uh, white again. And this time I'm going to change my gradient shape to radial. And I'm going to click and drag. And you see now it highlights the it makes uh, that part of this layer transparent. Therefore, it's accenting this layer, which isn't blurred at all. And, you know, you can just expand with where you want that, and you can create some really cool uh, effects with this. So, this is a really some 
a couple of neat tricks. So this is High Chess. Rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks.